Dave Ramsey gets a lot of things right in the terms of you shouldn't take on unnecessary debt. You shouldn't have credit cards if you can't use them correctly because you're gonna get yourself in a position where you are screwed, right? You're gonna be owing thousands to the credit card companies. You're never gonna be able to pay off your balance and it's just a miserable existence. A lot of times Dave Ramsey gets it right. He just takes it further and further until I start to say, leverage can be good sometimes if used correctly. It's not always bad. So utilizing that same kind of example, but for the fire community, right? Like I said, I know people in it and it's awesome. I love a lot of the content that they create. I think some people in the community are bringing it a little too far in terms of the big disagreement that I would have with them is more of the, I firmly believe you should live within your means. And by living within your means, you're going to be able to take what's extra and put that towards investing. Could be acquiring a business, could be investing in stocks, could be in real estate, whatever. But having the mindset of I can't do anything or depriving myself and my family from almost everything in order that I get to retire 10 years earlier or 20 years earlier at a number that I think is gonna set me up. And the idea that like the retirement is finally I can stop working and I can just live off that. And I think a lot of people, especially people who hit retirement, realize like it's not all it's cracked up to be. I don't look forward to retiring. Right now, I'm financially, we're financially free. I don't have to go into my office every day and work. But I do because I enjoy what I do. And I think finding something you enjoy doing is the ultimate goal and enjoyable. I wanna be 70 years old and still doing what I like to do, right? And going out there, acquiring businesses, helping other people do the same, that gives me fulfillment in, in kind of my, my professional career. It just doesn't speak to me, right? And there might be some people out there where they're like, man, that, that sounds amazing, and that's fine. Everyone's got their own thing that makes them tick. It just doesn't make me tick. And I think a lot of you guys out there that are entrepreneurial, you guys feel the same way I do. Like, you can't see yourself actually going out and saying, okay, I've retired, boom, I'm coming home, Netflix and chill, and that's my new life. That's That just sounds like a horrible life. So I think the fire community is awesome. I think those the, the people that are, that they're so disciplined, they're knowing where every dollar goes, they are doing everything they possibly can to get towards financial independence. I think it's awesome. I just think you'd be taking extreme, to the extreme point where you're depriving your family of things that you don't have to. In, in achieving a goal that you're gonna realize that it doesn't bring the fulfillment that you hope. Right, so that's the only thing I put out there when talking about that movement, right? I, I love them, but I think it could be dialed back in certain ways to make it much more appealing to a more broader audience.